I've always dated men that actually wanted to have children in the future. And, you know, this was obviously based on dating for the purpose of marriage and not having children before marriage. But the more self-aware I become and assessing how my life is right now, like at the age of 32, I'm still finishing off my degree. I'm starting a business. I'm not writing books. And I'm like, I cannot imagine my life with a child in the next five years. I, I think I'm giving myself a period of five years to get on my feet, to establish myself financially, to move out my parents' house, to build a life that is stable for me. And having a child right now or in the next five years, I really believe that it will derail me from that path. You know, a lot of my 20s were spent with me, you know, rebelling against pretty much everything, my parents and stuff like that, um, getting mixed up with the wrong crowd, with the wrong relationships, um, at the age of 25, having like a mini meltdown that, oh my gosh, I'm 25 and I haven't achieved much. So the more I think about it, I'm just like, do I want kids at all? And now I am opening myself to dating or meeting men that don't want kids. And I really want to see how that dynamic works. Because I think sometimes in relationships, the 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 cloud of wanting to have kids also does put you in a predicament where now you are dating for the purpose of marriage and then obviously having kids is a factor so you have a limited amount of time depending on how old you are you know like maybe you date for two or three years and then in that two or three years you get married and you have children and I've never wanted to get married and then boom we're having children like that's one thing I've never wanted. I don't want to base my marriage on being a parent, although there are some people that do do that. And I find that there is a place that's lacking in terms of understanding your marriage as two people before. And then that's where you get the concept or the feeling of the empty nest because your whole marriage has been based on you being a parent. And once your children are older, it's like what foundation does your marriage have if you have not experienced being married together for at least a minimum of two to three or four years so yeah i'm definitely on that track of deciding whether i want children at all i know that i don't want children in the next five years and i don't believe it's going to change because once i've gotten to the point where i do feel financially stable in my career in the direction of my life i'm now thinking to myself I'm already 32, okay, and, you know, the biological clock and all that stuff, and then adding a child into that would then mean that my life for the next couple of years will be dedicated to a baby, where, where now I'm feeling more conscious and self-aware of my decisions and would like to give myself more of an opportunity to really live the life that I would have planned for myself in terms of the dreams and aspirations I want to achieve. And I think being child-free, you get that advantage. You have that advantage over people that have children that you can pursue certain dreams that maybe have failed or you've delayed in them. And it could be a delay for any reason. Maybe it just wasn't your time. Maybe it was God trying to build you up. Um, maybe God could see a character flaw in you that if you had that money or that job or that car or that relationship at that time, it wouldn't have been right for you. And then also healing from toxic relationships, toxic trauma, childhood trauma. I don't think enough people take enough time to do that. And there was a post I made, even though there was a spelling error, I was asking mothers to give childless and child-free women advice. And I am really commend the women for being very honest. And some of the comments I saw is that make sure that you heal yourself from any traumas because once you have a child, those traumas will become amplified. And I don't think we give enough us, ourselves enough time to do that. And the older you get, the more self-aware, if you are conscious of yourself, you should be able to assess these things. So yeah, I'm going to be giving a try out to men that don't want children because I don't think I've consciously made that decision of being with someone that doesn't want children. You know, I've always left room for, okay, at least he will want children eventually. So when we get married, that will be a conversation. But now I'm like, okay, what will the dynamic be if I date a guy that doesn't want children? You know, how will that help me reinforce my decision and also explore a relationship beyond having to procreate? You know, if you get me, if you feel me. 
even though there might not be that many, but actually I'm seeing a lot more guys coming out to say that they don't want children and I am for it. Oh, and let me just add a disclaimer, dating men that don't want children and don't have children. Like I've been seeing, um, I'm on a few dating apps and I've been seeing some men that will say, I do have children, but I don't want any more. I'm a guy. <laughs> I'm not your girl. I am not your girl because why would I subjugate myself to being with someone that has children and I don't have children and they don't want children? Like, you know, uh-uh, uh-uh, guys. Okay, so...